Today I'm doing a live stream. It's been a month. End of this month. It's on the 27th. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm just going to put this on my tripod here. Yeah, look at all this yarn that I have. Oh, wow, when you look at it. Ah, it's full. <laughs> okay, let me just put this here so I can go on with the live stream. Hi, Christina. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Angela. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Another month passed by. Isn't it weird? Yeah, time goes so fast. Uh, well, you guys know I had the COVID, so uh, <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a terrible uh, month for me. I still have it up here. Uh, but I've been eating what, what, I, what I've been doing. I would highly recommend ginger. I've been uh, making it tea, like cutting it freshly. Oh, my phone is ringing. Huh. Sorry about that. Yeah, when you're alive, everything pops up, right? <laughs> okay. So what I've been doing is I've been... Uh, making tea with fresh ginger and putting a honey in it and then chewing the ginger. So I think that's helping. Glad to see you better. Hi, hi, Whisper SDI. <laughs> hi, Asmai, Asme. Let me just open my laptop here. So uh, I can see, glad to see you feeling better. Thank you, yeah, yeah, it took, well, they told me that it, this disease takes about three months, the COVID three months so we we have the symptoms uh but i i, I tested uh, negative on january 18 it was a big relief <laughs> other than that it, it, it was like crazy i was in bed all the time and uh it was a bit body aches a lot of body aches you can't read it from the screen let me see <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I've been buying yarn. As soon as I get up, I was buying yarn nonstop. I still have like eight orders coming. And every time I buy, I say, uh, this is going to be my last order, but I go back and keep on buying. I, I don't know. But I do have lots of projects. You had to spoil yourself. Yeah, I... I'm alive, and uh, thank God I am praying to God that I am alive, and uh, you know I didn't pass away. <laughs> it's that's what you think when you're in bed; you can't get up, and your body's ache, and uh, so on and so forth. I hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, we have uh, 12 people at the moment. Great, nice, nice, nice to see everyone's. Uh, Everyone's been waiting for me. That's nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to show you the projects that I finished. And, uh, well, this month I couldn't make that many. I couldn't work. But um, due to my illness, the COVID-19, I think it's, is it, are, I'm wondering, are they going to change the covid to COVID-21 now, because we're in 2021. I don't know how it goes like that, but uh, you think about it, right? That's what you think. And uh, you think about it, is it gonna go away? But it's not going away, yeah, unfortunately. Anyways, let's get, let's stop talking about the COVID. I would like to welcome, welcome everyone to my channel. Name. Still 19, okay, okay, um, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, Lori, welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I started doing live stream, Nancy from Ontario. Where are you, Nancy? She kept on messaging me on Facebook. Um, I had to send my husband to work and I had to cook for supper uh, for my son. So I was in the kitchen and uh, we're time difference. We're mountain time here. So uh, I will do 
thank you oh you're from ontario too good good welcome welcome to my channel oh i was just reading uh my husband tested positive for covid yesterday i went for my test today and i was negative glad you are feeling oh you're negative oh that's good i don't know like my husband he brought the covid home we were on vacation me and my son he, he had the two weeks off from work and so he he went to work on monday i believe he got he he had the flu flu symptoms he was sneezing sneezing you know running and runny nose and that's what he had and he kept on telling me i don't want you to catch the uh, flu so he went to a different bedroom and using a different uh, bathroom like we weren't even close enough one meter two meter three meter we were always far apart but I think we, we caught caught it through the kitchen cuz and we were eating our supper our breakfast different time so uh, everyone in the house I had a I had a I have a different bathroom my husband does my son does we sleep in different bedrooms and we try to stay away but still I'm wiping everywhere with vinegar and rubbing alcohol at the doorknobs, you know, washing my hands like a hundred times a day. But still, I will light a candle for him. And then uh, three days later on December 25th, I woke up with a chest pain and I said to myself, this is weird. Like, you know, that pressure on your chest, that's what I felt. I said, what, what is this? Uh, I said, I think I have to call. But I kept on denying it until our son, he caught it on his birthday, December 28th. Yeah, it is scary. And then we heard that my friend, 49-year-old, she passed away with the COVID that week. And another fellow that we know, he was uh, in his 80s, he passed away. And then I, I was, I didn't want to scare my husband nor my son, but... Uh, I wasn't talking about the COVID at home at all, but uh, you know, you feel it, your body aches, you can't get out of bed. I've been sleeping in the bed for 18 hours nonstop. I just couldn't, still I sleep. And I try not to sleep. I'm up till 4 a.m. If I sleep, then I'm sleeping so many hours. So I try to not sleep. Then I'm, I'm when I go to bed, I sleep right away because I'm sleeping like, six hours seven hours i don't want to sleep over because my head it ju i just want it i just don't want to get out of bed i don't know that's what that's how i was and my son was like me he couldn't get out of bed my my husband he just had the flu no problem at all so on the 28th our son got sick he was in bed so he went to get tested on the, that following week which was uh, friday and then he came with a positive and he's showing me mom we all have the COVID. <laughs> But we weren't going out, thank God. Only my husband, he was going out for grocery shopping on Fridays. and um, But he was over. Like, he went and had the test, and he was negative before me. I had the test, the first test on January 8. I was positive. And I was in the house for ten another 10 days. So I went back on the 18th, and I got negative. Even the girl that who did the swamp from my nose, oh, that's a terrible thing pokes it right in and then she measures right I just had to shut my eyes very very uh tight so uh <laughs> and then you have that burn uh, feeling right anyways and then on the 18 I was negative so I was so happy so happy but I would highly recommend you to eat lots of garlic that's what I've been doing still ginger garlic <clears throat> kefir Kefir, I have uh, two videos about it, how to how to use kefir, I make cheese and stuff. So I've, I've been, I have uh, milk kefir in the house for uh, two years now. It's going to be three years in October. And that's what I was drinking, closing my, well, I can't smell anything. That's the thing. I lose my smell. I lose my te uh, taste buns. I couldn't taste anything. I only had that chemical burnt uh, smell and taste in my mouth. So I kept on drinking kefir. <laughs> the clear water is super good for you. Thank God I had kefir uh, water in the fridge. So uh, my husband, like he, 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 could, he, he wouldn't drink because of the smell because he couldn't smell. He kept on drinking. I don't know, maybe those 
things saved us and i kept putting uh kefir my our son he doesn't like to drink kefir so i kept putting on in our food so he can have that uh, kefir uh, thing in it and uh yeah i'm happy that our son is recovered i'm recovered well our husband my husband was recovered before i was so that was a relief that's the only thing i'm saying please drink kefir eat garlic, ginger, boiled ginger, fresh ginger, put honey in it. And I was drinking because of my throat. You know, you have that throat problem when you get that clue, that that cold, that, uh, uh, that flu, and your throat is like you can't talk, you can't eat. I have that same symptom. So I've been drinking uh, ginger with uh, honey, uh, milk with honey, and gold milk. I would highly recommend search it up if you don't know i didn't know none of these until you know uh, my husband he kept on uh and vinegar homemade vinegar that's what i've been drinking i don't know maybe those uh, things helped us but I've, I've been looking in the fridge we have been drinking lots of kefir water for sure and uh I, like i put my kefir in the fridge and that last i have this huge jar it's about this jar about five kilogram i can't remember i haven't weighed it but uh, it was one of the vinegars that i bought from uh, tnt here uh, asian uh, chinese uh, grocery store and I, i'm using that glass jar so i fill it with milk 3.5 milk and then every three weeks i change the milk i uh, drain it and uh yeah so uh that's really really good for you that's what they're saying yogurt it's better than uh thousand times better than yogurt okay I, I don't want to talk about too much oh my goodness i've been going on and on uh, i can't see because i'm alive uh for uh no 12 minutes i've been going on with this covid hello i veronica welcome to my channel welcome welcome hello hello for uh, my new subscribers i'm almost hitting 30 30 000. i'm at 28 what was i 28.8 28,800 subscribers since 2009 Ankara'dan selamlar merhaba 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 hoş geldin canım merhaba yeah from Ankara uh, capital the capital uh, for Turkey is Ankara and if you are my subscriber you guys know that I buy yarn from Turkey well Okay, I'm going to show you something. First, I'm going to buy, show you the yarns that I bought. The reason I go to buy yarn from Turkey is I'm Turkish. My background is Turkish. Even I was born and raised in Canada, but I'm Turkish from Bursa. Ben Bursalıyım, bilmiyorum. Bursa. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, you're, you're from Mexico, yeah. I was born and raised in Canada, but my background is, uh, my nationality is Turkish. Uh, just to point that out. So uh, every time I go to Turkey or my husband, he brings yarn to me. That's all. Like I take my clothes and leave it there. <laughs> they bring yarn with suitcases. But uh, we, uh, because of the COVID, we haven't gone, right? And uh, you guys know that I al already took pictures and made tutorials and videos. I was in Turkey for... Uh, two years ago we were there for three months and I did yarn shopping I did lots of giveaway that day uh, that uh, that year and I turn I turned 50 two years ago so I'm 52 now so I did lots of giveaway just to celebrate my 50th birthday uh, but unfortunately it's not going well right 51 52 now I'm 52 and this COVID is just ruining our lives. Yeah. Anyways, so I've been buying yarn from Turkey and I'm trying to buy yarn where it's made and uh, the stores that people grab the yarn from the uh, factories. That's where I'm buying from. That's what I want to do to go to bring in suitcases. <laughs> And uh, I did, uh, people ordered yarn from me when I was there, so I shipped it. And they received in two weeks. Well, there was no COVID, right? But now it's taking about a month. Yeah, because it's staying in customs due to the uh, 
Canada Post, the postal service is crazy, so it's staying extra. So what I did is, uh, I bought this yarn. Uh, I did a yarn opening uh, from Hobiem, from Turkey again. It's yarn art. This is 50% cotton and 50% acrylic, and it's a lovely yarn. I did a baby card again with this. Yeah, uh, that's what I want to do. Katie Berry, yeah, I remember I sent you thread from there. Yeah, I did lots of giveaway that's that year. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Katie Berry. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I bought this yarn, and what I want to do is, I want to make myself a cardigan. And a couple of years, two years ago, I knit this cardigan it's right over here. Let me see if I can show it to you. Sorry about that. I tried to be prepared, but uh. You know, when you're alive, you can't pause it. <laughs> so I knit this uh, lovely, lovely card. I wear this every day. It's from Nakopadis that I bought when I was in Turkey, the yarn. So I knitted a top down. Top, top. So like you guys know that I'm trying to make my tutorials, like I try to search for new uh new techniques and this is how i knit it i picked up the stitches and i knitted the collar like this just like this it's pretty good and it's so long it goes all the way down so i used up total of seven seven balls for this yarn now i want to do i already did a tutorial on how to start from the collar and then go down so that's why I want to use that technique. And I just love, love this color. So what I did is I've been searching everywhere for this color. Tavşantü. In Turkish it's called Tavşantü. But it's one of the eyelash yarns. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steals the Show. Chef. Oh. Yeah. So what I did is I've been searching in Turkey and I, as soon as I find the yarn, I message them and they say it's sold out. I've been looking everywhere and everywhere and I couldn't find this color. See, it's the same color. So I found this on Etsy. She's from Bulgaristan, Bul Bulgaria, neighbor to Turkey. I bet this is from Turkey, but you know, I couldn't find it. Hi, V. <laughs> I can call you V, yeah. So what I did is, uh, she only had uh, two balls, two cones of this. And then I messaged her. I said, do you have more? And then she said, go to my private uh, link. I will put those link as soon as I finish this because I can't do anything while I'm alive. So uh, I, uh, I put, I'll put her Etsy shop as well. And it was just on Christmas on the 20th. Yes, I love this color. So she had four cones. I, I, uh, I went to her link and I grabbed these four cones. So I'm going to make a card again. But I'm going to do it with that yarn that I showed you. And then I will do a tutorial. Don't worry. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm sure you guys are my subscribers because you're watching me, right? A lot of or else if you're not my subscriber, you wouldn't know that I was... Uh, you usually get a uh, notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two ply with this, like two ply, and then add that yarn because it's super popular. Yep, I'm subscribed. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so uh, I added these. I'm going to knit because, as you know, knit, when you crochet, it uses up more yarn than when you knit. So, uh, like I said, I have four cones, and these are about 400 gram. I weighed them doubled, and uh, so uh, 400 grams, and I'm a plus size, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't crochet because I'm not quite sure, you know. <laughs> so I have uh, three bags of this. I'm going to use up all of them until the end. I have three bags of this. I bought it. I bought it on Hobium when they had the free shipping, and they had a sale. So I've been watching that. Unfortunately, I received a notification that they have a free shipping if you shop uh, fifty dollars and over. So I went and checked, and I looked at it, 
and I'm thinking it's still expensive. So, uh, yeah. So when they had a special sale with the free shipping, and uh, I think they had a 30% off plus on top of it. So uh, I did the, they did that only twice. So I grabbed three bags of this when they had that sale. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to use up every sink. If I have leftovers, I will give them away on the uh, yarn giveaway. <laughs> I, I haven't planned to do yarn giveaway. I'm just uh, working on my projects and tutorials and then uh, we'll see from there. So uh, I just want this COVID to slow down because the Canada Post is terrible. They're crazy busy. And uh, I've been and I, I went and bought another package from Canada this time. Hi Gary, how are you if you're watching me? I uh, Aberdeen. Uh, they're in, based in Ontario I thought to myself as soon as I saw his uh, video of, uh, informing us about Aberdeen Urban Yarns Urban Yarns hi Gary if you're watching if not so what can you do so he said uh, five dollar shipping BBC hello again how are you good 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 how are you from New Zealand I don't know what BB stands for Oh, I'm sorry. Don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I went and grabbed the yarns. It's made in Turkey, but every time I checked, they were sold out, so I couldn't order from Turkey. So, pre Premier Yarn, yeah. Premier Yarn sells these. Uh, but I don't know what BBC stands for. I don't know why you keep on uh, typing that. I'm sorry, BBC. You keep on typing BBC. Anyways. So, uh, it's been uh, two weeks almost. Today, Monday they were supposed to be delivering. And then Tuesday they were supposed to be delivering. Today again, still haven't received it. So, it takes more time to order from Canada than Turkey. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. So this, I ordered this on December 20th. And it arrived yesterday. I was just up and down the ceiling. I was so happy to receive this. Oh, they are spamming me. Oh, I better block that person. Six from Futo. Block six from Futo. Oh my, that is terrible. You know, what? I'm not a big channel. Like, why are you spamming me? What are you going to do to me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me block that person. That's not nice, BBC. You know, Six from photo keeps on typing BBC. How do I block this? I don't even know when you're alive. How do you block it? Oh my goodness. This is really... How do I do this? Report. I'm going to report you six from. Harassing, bullying. Well, I don't know what else you're doing to me. Yeah, so you're reported. It's not nice, BBC. You don't have anything else to do? Like, really? Get a life, right? <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I think I blocked that person. Whatever. <laughs> I hope that person would never come back to my channel. It's not nice, right? Yeah, I blocked it, I guess. Deleted or blocked it. Okay, so I bought this gorgeous color green. Isn't this nice? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I blocked it. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, she also had this, this color. Look at it. Oh my goodness. It's gray. Oh, I just love it, love it, love it. So I asked her. She only had one on Etsy. And Etsy, of course, Etsy charges fees, right? So, uh, hi. Hi, Martha. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Whisper. So uh, I bought, uh, she had three cones of this. So I think this is going to be more sh shorter than this. And then I bought this yarn from Dollarama. It's velvet yarn and it's gorgeous. So it's the same color. So I'm going to do two ply of this. 
the eyelash and I'm gonna do one of this I only have two balls but there's a lot of yardage meters in this like uh, I remember I had one and I made so many things with one ball I made a scarf I made a hat that's another thing plus I'm working for the homeless so I'm knitting and crocheting I think I have 20 hats and 20 scarves uh, but I'll, I will come back to that so uh, I used up all the yarn and it's so nice it's thin so I said to myself this would be just perfect to add this to this so uh, I will do a tutorial on this one as well because uh, it's it's nice to wear a, a sweater cardigan in, in in the house especially in this weather it's like minus 20 Oh, thank you so much, New Zealand. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so these came yesterday. I bought these on uh, December 20th, and it arrived yesterday, so over a month. Well, with the Christmas going on, so I, I didn't, uh, I, I messaged her, but she said it's, it's holidays everywhere here. Here in Canada, we just drop it to the Canada Post, like it's they're open, they would accept it. But of course, when they're, they're, they don't work on holidays, like Christmas and Boxing Day, I believe, those two days and New Year. So three days they were closed here. I don't know other countries, but I don't think they're closed for so many days. Anyways, she, she said it was because of the holidays. She couldn't take it to the... But she wrapped it so nice. I took pictures and I posted on my Instagram. I posted yesterday. She nicely wrapped and it came nicely dry and not, no problem at all. Hi, steals the show. Who who steals the show? Mar Martha. You would like to get a combination with this color or green? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's really hard to read the comments. If you're doing a live stream, either you have to talk or you have to read the comments. <laughs> and they're so tiny. It's like, oh my, which one should I do? And then uh, when I'm done with my live stream, you can't go back to read those comments. I don't know. I can't see them for some reason. Yeah, so I, I will put that aside. And then... Uh, yeah, the yarn that I'm waiting, they didn't arrive yet, so uh, I will do it separately because, uh, yeah, it takes time for me to open and show it to you. So these, uh, so I bought from Bulgaristan, Bulgaria, I, I, four cones arrived, lovely, lovely, and then three of this arrived. Just love, love the color. So I want to make uh, cardigans with this, uh, like a home coat. I missed the beginning. What is, um, yeah, you can watch it at the beginning. I'm going to make cardigans with these. I'm going to knit them up and I will do the tutorials for that. You did, <laughs> it's the beginning. No worries. You are doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is my seventh time I'm doing live stream. Nancy, where are you? She's the one who kept on messaging me free to do live stream. Li Again, she's not here. <laughs> Last month. Three months she's been missing. So uh, uh, next month I will be here on the 27th. I think it's uh, it's on a Saturday. So I, I do it uh, late after, you know, everyone. We eat supper early. It's the beginning. Yeah, sorry about that. You can uh, watch it later if you missed it. 17 people. Thank you. Thank you. I have 14 thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. Like I said, I'm almost hitting 20, 30,000. Okay, and uh, I did do a review about this yarn. I just want to say this yarn is so gorgeous. Uh, two bags is coming. I just love, love this yarn. It's so soft. And it's a dream to work with my Addy machine. Oh, so here's the bag that I ordered. I ordered five, and then I'm getting two more. And I'm getting, uh, in Canada, we can't order uh, I Hobby Lobby yarn, Ilti, Ilti yarn. They don't ship it to Canada. For years and years, I was just wondering what kind of yarn uh, they were carrying. And uh, but they're made in tur Turkey, so I thought to myself, 
I can find it from Turkey. And I did, yeah. <laughs> so I ordered more different colors and I will uh, make a video and show it to you. Which time? I'm in mountain time. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm in mountain time. Yeah. Mountain time. It's uh, 4.30 here. 4.29. It's almost 4.30 p.m. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I really, really like this yarn. Especially this color. Can you see it? Oh, my yarn. <laughs> They're falling down. This yarn is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I made hats, I made scarf, and I have the bag here. Let me just grab it. So I received them in bags like this, three in bags. Of course, it cost me more if I went and ordered through Hobby Lobby. Martha with the green. Yes, oh, you guys are talking to each other. So uh, it would have been cheaper, but unfortunately, no. So I bought it from Turkey, where it's made from. And more is coming. I ordered two more from the same seller. Okay, I did a, I did a tutorial on how to knit this corner-to-corner -corner brioche stitch. I think two years ago. I can't remember. I think I have 14,000 views on that one. Only the new beginners has been messaging me privately. They've been asking questions, and with their questions, I understand that they're, they're a new beginner. Hello, hello! Hello, Nara! How are you from Montreal? Welcome, welcome! Welcome! Good, good. Everything's going well. And uh, so I was uh, thinking of, because uh, I made that blanket and I sold it on Etsy. Etsy. So, I know it's a variegated yarn that I'm using. I do have a tutorial. So it's just a previous uh, tutorial on how to knit this from from the bottom. It's brioche. It's pretty pretty big. It's about fifty inches wide, and it's going to be a square. Right here, where I started to do the decrease. Yes, and it's really fun to make. I just, so uh, what I did is, you know, you think about it, what can I do? Because people are asking me patterns. If I sit down and write the pattern, it's going to take me time and no one's going to be happy because no one's happy with patterns, a written pattern. So that's why I do the tutorial. And, uh, and if I have to write the pattern, I'm going to charge, right? It's my time. And uh, you have to think, and you know, oh, it's, it's, it's. I only wrote one pattern and it, that took me like months to write it. Believe it or not, it did. And I took pictures on that pattern. That's on my Etsy. And it doesn't even sell that often. So that's why I don't bother writing patterns. So what I did is I've been uh, thinking, what can I make it? How can I make it easier? So I created this. So this is, uh, this is the new tutorial that I made. So go and check it out. It's re very lovely. And this is 100% cotton that I'm using. I just love it, love it, love it. So I have all the information on in the tutorial. And uh, I'm going to do how to finish it up. Because I'm right here right now. I'm almost done. And I will do that tutorial. I've been knitting this non-stop. So I'll finish it up. It's a blanket. It's a blanket. I will post this on my... Uh, Etsy. So it starts from the corner and then you knit about 10 uh, squares. On the 10th you knit six ridges and then you start doing the decrease right here. And I have all that info. It's a very super, it's like knitting a dishcloth. <laughs> that's what it is. Basically that's what it is. But uh, we do the brioche in the middle. Okay, um, Turkish ladies know this stitch. Okay, it starts from here. Just want to show you. And I'm going to do a separate tutorial. So, uh, in Turkey, there's a city called Elazığ. Elazığ. And then uh, what they make is, uh, they make bathroom scrubs with this stitch. Actually, that's what it's made for. <laughs> and then people were starting to make, knit these for blankets. 
think that's a genius idea. So uh, this is not a new stitch around. It's been around for, I don't know, years and years, maybe more. But uh, it starts from here on the bottom, and then you go up. The first tutorial that I made in uh, a couple of years ago, my uh, these were thinner. I only did one row and then bind off, knit, cast on, and knit one row and then bind off. So though mines are thinner. This time I made it thicker, so uh, new beginners will have an uh, easy way to knit, knit it up. Just wanted to make it easy as it can be. I'm just going to grab my water, my throat. I drank coffee milk this morning. <laughs> So I'm still working on this. It's not finished, but I will finish it in a day or two. I just need to, uh, and I started a blue one. If you check the tutorial, it's the same yarn in blue variegated colors. It's just lovely. It's so soft. It's not kitchen cotton at all. It's just so nice. I love it. And especially for a baby blanket. Oh, it's so nice, soft, and yeah. Okay, I'll put this aside. Okay, I'm going to come to my finish items. I've been knitting because I was sick, right? I didn't have the strength to do... I haven't done tutorials for, I believe, 10 days. And then uh, I couldn't finish my projects. Thank God I, had, I didn't receive any custom orders, so that was a relief. Quebec, nice to see you. Hi, Caroline! Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what I've been doing is I, I bought this Addy machine. I used to have 2009 Innovations I bought in 2009. I was laid off. <laughs> so I ordered it from the state and it cost me about 150 Canadian dollar. Oh my goodness. And then uh, I bought the small ones here in Winners. That we call it Winners. We they, they were selling those small ones. The 22 needles so I bought those I think I bought two or three with that because they were like ten dollars or so fourteen dollar fourteen ninety nine I remember and then we had to move to BC so I, I gave them to Valley Village I dropped them there because you know some you can sell some you can't and I couldn't we didn't have marketplace Facebook wasn't this popular and uh, people had no clue about these machines anyway I just donated them <laughs> and then uh 2013 I was so sad because uh, you know you're used to it for so many years so I said and then it suddenly got popular well uh, I was checking the videos and stuff but uh so I was just waiting for Amazon to have it on sale and then boom it went on sale I believe no December 9th I purchased it and I received it in two days hello 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 with Linda welcome to my channel Oh, welcome, welcome. Welcome, please subscribe or else you're going to miss lots of new techniques, new tutorials. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I bought it and uh, there's already three groups on Facebook. Oh my goodness, they're so nice, people. So what I've been doing, I've been knitting for the homeless, scarves and hats. I'm not going to bother those, uh, but I might show a couple of scarves for you guys to see. Because I just use up my yarn from my stash. I don't go out and buy. Well, I still buy yarn, right? I'm buying, I'm get, waiting for eight more orders to arrive. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, uh, what I've been doing is, uh, I've been knitting with my yarn that I had in my stash for so many years. Uh, I bought 2009 to 2013, I bought yarn from Etsy, I bought yarn a lot, and then they were selling uh, upcycle, recycle uh, yarns, brioche is gorgeous, yes, Brio brioche is very good, I love the stitch, I knitted so many cardigans with that stitch, it gives you that fluffiness, that 3D look, and I'm planting, planning to make a sweater, but I'm want to make top down because I don't want to make it in pieces I hate sewing so I will do a tutorial for that with that brio stitch well every uh, project that I start I do a tutorial no matter what because I learn new techniques I create new techniques I make up I make up lots of stuff just to you know do shortcuts why would you work or do a long uh, 
long techniques that you don't want to take it forever. You just want to take it, you know, we just want to finish it right away, right? So short techniques. My secrets. I share everything uh, no matter what. So I've been using, uh, these are cashmere. These are for babies with my uh, 46 needle. So the yin, the yarn is very thin, right? It's a lace. So I did uh, six ply. I did six ply. See, it's reversible. I'm not going to put pom-poms because these are for newborn. And I ordered some tags from Dilek, from, uh, again, from Turkey. Yeah, I ordered. Well, uh, she's still searching it up. She's ordering leather. She's working on it. And uh, I love my tags. I bought it from her these two years ago when I was in Turkey. These are the rivet. I will pick, put the link. Or if you go into my videos, you will see that I did a review about this. And I also have the sew on that you put on the bag that you sew it up. I have two of those that I ordered from her. So I'm ordering different colors. And uh, a special uh, thing I'm creating to put it here for a newborn. So I have knit that. I knit this. These, this is a, uh, this is thicker than this. I know this is cashmere too, but this is a little bit thicker. So this is maybe for a one-year-old. Like when newborn, you can put it like this, right? And then when your child gets uh, grows up, you just pull it down. And then wear it doesn't even doesn't fits me see because uh it's short i use up all the yarn i'm using up all from my it's that addy machine is just great great to use up the yarn that you have from your stash just wonderful so this is thicker i'm doing a double layer because we live in canada those are also <laughs> adorable thank you thank you Katie. <laughs> they are hello hello linda from Texas I can't I couldn't read so uh and then my husband he never asks me he said to me so what I did is uh, with that baby blanket I knitted up this one ball the entire one ball I knitted up again it's uh, double reversible I knitted up and I put it on his head <laughs> this is 100% cotton and he goes to me Oh, this is so soft, honey. Can you knit up me a thinner hat? And I looked at him. He never asks me. Can you believe it? We've been married for since 93. I stopped counting after 25, 27 years, right? He never asked. So I said, yeah, I will. So what I did is, oh, where did I drop it? Somewhere here. Ah, here it is. Well, this is the leftover yarn. So I went to my stash and I found this gorgeous bamboo. He wanted black. And then I knit him a hat like this. It's re reversible, two sides. And then he asked for a pompon, a black pompon. So I sew it up. He's wearing at work because he had a short haircut. <laughs> it's nice black so I'm waiting for those labels as soon as they arrive I will put it here and I will do a review of course share it with you guys because she's so good I just love it she doesn't charge any extra I bought so many 10 other places through Canada and uh, in the States even from France oh my god they asked what did they ask they asked to uh, uh, I had to pay proof a yeah, proof that she had to send me, they had to send me back and forth. That took like a month back and forth. What I do is I just send her and tell her I want this. And she just makes it and she ships it. And I receive in two weeks. So easy. I don't have to deal with the proof. I don't have to keep on messaging. That's all. Like I already uh, messaged her about three, four different uh, tags that I'm planning. And she goes, no problem. Hello from Greece. Hi, hi. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Hi, Gunnar from Edmonton. Gunnar Nas from Edmonton, Alberta. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to see you guys. You're here. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice, nice. We're, uh, we're, we dropped to 15 now, 15 people. That's not bad. Yeah, welcome, welcome. So uh, I've been working on my stash and using up these lovely uh, hats 
and I just want to uh, get ready for them so I can post these on my but these are this is like bamboo this is cashmere 100% cashmere so it's super soft and I'm not charging that much not at all just the yarn fee most of my projects if you go onto my Etsy shop I only charge for yarn fee the main thing is if I sell it, I can go buy more yarn. That's the only thing. Of course, Etsy charges for fees, right? So I, I, I can't put a stop to that. Bahran, hi, welcome, 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 Huda. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Greetings. Yeah, so I knit the hat to match the blanket. That's what I'm, uh, I always do. And here's another cashmere that I have knit, but this one, I thought I didn't have enough, but I had lots and lots, so it's going to be for an adult, and I put a pom-pom. So I haven't, I haven't posted this yet, just to show it to you. These are nice. See? Oh my goodness. Some of them I'm keeping, some of them I'm wearing. If you don't see it on my Etsy, I'm, oh, I forgot this! <laughs> Okay, this is my hand spun yarn. Okay. I, th I, b I bought the fiber and I hand, hand spun it. So uh, there are a little bit pieces. That's beautiful. I use my Addy machine to knit up. So as you can see, this is a little bit shorter. These are not reversible. So I didn't have that in my... Well, it's pretty thick, right? That's why I didn't want to use up the entire... Uh, I didn't have enough yarn. Maybe I could have done... It's thick. That's the thing. It's thick. If I did two ply, like a reversible, then it would be too bulky, right? Yeah, so uh, I think I posted this one on my Etsy. Uh, I just need to uh, take more pictures. So this is the one hand spun that I have. Uh... Here's another one. I just love this. This is alpaca, and it's so soft. Let me put this on and for you. I'm putting it on for uh, on my head just to uh, display it. And this folds up like this. So this is nice. It might take. It has that slotchy look. So nice. Nice and soft. So I have these hand spun that I have knit. And I put a pom-pom. And I ordered more from Amazon. I don't order from uh, uh, AliExpress anymore. I don't know what they're doing. Like, I ordered masks from October. Never received it. And then I received an email yesterday. They Because I put a dispute, so I got my money back. It's only like $10, right? But still, $10, $10. It adds up. So uh, they resend it. That's what the, I received an email. So I don't know. I just go on to Amazon, and I choose the Prime, and I receive it in two days. Why would I wait? Yeah, so uh, these are from Amazon. They have different uh, colors, different sizes. Oh, lots of to choose from, but I go to the Prime. Very cool, cute. I know. Fabricland has some really nice palm. I, that's the thing. I don't go out. Because of my COVID, I haven't gone out for... I only went to the test on 18th. I haven't been out the, since then. This, uh, January 18th, I went to have my test done. And uh, I still feel that I'm weak, even in the house. Like my son hugs me and I tell him, don't hurt me, it hurts. Like I still have that achiness. I don't know, it's it's a terrible disease. That's all I'm saying. And uh, well, they, the girl who did took the swamp said it takes three months. So I haven't been out, so I'm just ordering it online. What can you do? So uh, yeah, these are nice. So these are fake though. That's... <laughs> But are they nice and soft? Love it, love it. This is the hat that I knit from that yarn that I was showing to you. This yarn, oh, I love it. Party. It's made in Turkey, but uh, they sell it to the UK. I used the entire ball. And it's double uh, reversible. And I just love it, love it, love it. I didn't put a pom-pom. I did order from Amazon. I ordered white because what color can you put, right? So I wanted the attention to the hat, like the colors are so vibrant. So uh, I ordered uh, white pom-pom, so that's on its way. 
Okay, and then uh, what I did is I had this gorgeous cashmere angora and merino wool. Again, from my stash. So I knit up this uh, scarf. It's not too long. Put my tag on and I uh, did the edge like this. Sorry to hear that. I'm sure you are. Yes, yes. Uh, thank God. Every day I'm praying that I'm feeling better. <clears throat> but if you can, if you can notice, my throat is still affected to, to this terrible COVID. So uh, yeah, every day I'm praying that I'm feeling better because I don't have my body aches. That too. my hips were just killing me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Katy Perry. <laughs> so I used up the entire uh, ball that I had in my stash, and I knit this. It's cashmere, and it's super soft. So I'm going to put this on my Etsy. I haven't marked it yet. It's not that thick, so it's just a cover. Even for men, men can buy it. For children. So it's not going to be like a $100, $200 thing. I'll just mark it down with the fees and stuff. But it's a lovely, it's not black, it's not gray. I think it's between black and gray. Cool. I think that's what's it called. So it's pretty nice. This turned out pretty good. And I used up the entire ball that I had in my stash laying around. <laughs> if I don't sell it on my Etsy, I just give it to the homeless. That's what I, yes, 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 Caddy Berry. Girl, you go girl. And uh, I did a tutorial on how to crochet this lovely stitch. I had this merino wool in my stash again. I, I did a hand, I spun the wool and uh, I, it was about 200 grams. So I just wanted to use up the entire thing. So as you can see, just put it like this. It's a cowl. And it's nice, especially for men's, this color. I think I dyed the color to my husband so he, I can make something for him, but he doesn't wear cowls. No, neither does my son. So, yeah. So I finished this and I have the tutorial for this. It's, it's like a linen, uh, what's the other stitch? There's so many stitches. But I did a different way. I created, I don't know if it's out there. Hi, Christine. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, uh, Charlene. Hi. Hi, how are you? You're ordering yarn from Sweat then, aren't you? <laughs> I ordered again. A huge box is coming. Oh, my goodness. This time she, uh, she put it in bags and stuff. And then I had this gorgeous yarn from... Um, in my, I only had one ball. <clears throat> it's not ice yarn, but it's made in Turkey. And then, oh, what's this noise? Bags are crinkling. <laughs> so I used the entire ball, and uh, I will just add this in my one of my uh, baby items that I'm selling. So this is how it turned out. Just lovely, lovely, lovely. Just love the colors. I've been cranking even a... Uh, well, if you sit down, you can't finish it in one day. That's the thing, and especially when you're sick. But when you're cranking, you just uh, crank a couple of hours and then you lay down. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. It's beautiful. So, I've been, uh, I had these, so what I've been doing is, here's another hand spun. So this is this is too big, too long for a hat, right? And then uh, I was cranking these, and I noticed these are too long. See? When you fold it, it's too long and it's too bulky. So I said, I'll make leg leg uh, uh, leg leggings with this. So I'm going to make leggings. So I uh, what I did is. This is an eight millimeter knitting needle. So I'm picking up stitches. I will do a tutorial for that, don't worry. It's just I'm trying to create, you know, you can uh, crochet as well if you don't know how to knit, but it's so easy if you have a knitting, uh, adding knitting machine. So I'm picking up stitches and I left it like this because I want to finish the blanket. So uh, it's up to my, it's over my knee. And then it's pretty long when you look at it. Yeah. 
so I used it up and uh, it's nice and soft and these are all merino wool fiber that I bought and then what I did is I uh, I spun it 2009 I bought my uh, Ashford uh, spinning wheel it's right over there <laughs> And uh, I, when, I, when I bought it, when it was new, right, I've been spinning like crazy. Oh, my good, nonstop. I spent so many alpaca yarn, uh, angora rabbit. You have been busy with that. Yes, yes, Christine, I have been. Yes, yes, nonstop. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me show you uh, the scarf that I made for the homeless. Here's one. Again, this is from uh, my leftover yarn that I have. This one's pretty long. Again. Hello, hello, Tanita. Welcome, welcome to my channel from Mexico. Welcome. So I made a scarf for the homeless. Oh, this is not for the homeless. I posted this on my Etsy shop. This is a scarf. I don't know why this is here in the box. And, uh, well, I was I thought maybe it would be more appropriate for men, for males, so I didn't put a pom-pom. Yes, yes, I am going to do a tutorial on spinning. I never did. I, I think I did a tutorial on how to do two-ply on my Ashford, but uh, I never did. <laughs> I never did a tutorial. I will, yeah. That is gorgeous, yes. This is, again, uh, wool. I don't think it's merino, but it's not scratchy at all. Maybe it is merino wool. I can't remember because I didn't have the label. I do have uh, some yarn here. Same yarn. So I can make another set. Here. Oh, there's a label on this. It says 100% wool. Yeah, I bought it from Etsy. 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13. I bought lots and lots then. Yeah. I do have a tutorial on how to knit this stitch. It's a lovely, lovely stitch. And I made a hat to match it. It's a little bit tight. But for small heads, it will fit perfectly. This is for the homeless. So I finished this up. It's a very nice stitch. I'm planning to make a sweater or something uh, but using a thinner yarn because uh, this is a five weight. It's uh, turned out pretty bulky. So it's nice. The yarn is from Dollarama. I did do a yarn unboxing, I believe. Here's another hat. Oh, you like this one? Uh, Oh my God, that scarf, Kate Berry. Are you? Is this the one you're bitch? <laughs> yeah, uh, it was Caron Cake yarn with a pom pom on top of it. So, uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, again, this was uh, in my stash. Yes, yes, Kate Berry, you like it? Yeah, I do have a tutorial, so go and check it out. I made a tutorial on that one. So I made a hat with this. Isn't this vibrant? I think I posted this on my Etsy shop. Yeah, I need to move these from the... Yeah. Here's another one I made. I forgot to put the labels on these for the for my Etsy shop. Or like I said, if I don't sell it, I put it on my... Uh, put it on the homeless. I have a huge box here. Kartanesi! Kartanesi! Yakşam canım! Welcome, welcome! Hoş geldin canım! Hoş geldin! Yeah, and uh, there's another one. I, I, I can't remember if I showed these. Yeah. Yeah. I made a headband from the group that I have been in. Uh, Addy group. I used the uh, Hobby Lobby yarn. Well, from Turkey, right? This is nice. Oh, put your hair like. <laughs> oh. 
I, I, I had the Burnout premiere. Great chatting, folks. Bye-bye, Martha. See you again. Take care. So I made this on the adding machine again. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. There's tutorials on YouTube how to make this. I didn't bother making it. But, uh, yeah, check it out. It's nice. And it looks nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here's another hat that I made that's the same as this one, actually. I think it's the same yarn. I can't remember. See? But the this one didn't have the purple or the black. See? It's reversible. So uh, these are going... They're on my Etsy shop, I believe. Yeah, and the rest... Uh, the rest I showed these on... Uh, Here's another scarf I made for the homeless. They're pretty long. They're pretty long. Eem canım sen nasılsın? Kar tanesi. Very nice. Okay. And um, someone messaged me if I can make them a yodo hat. <laughs> I said, yeah, let me just create one. I make my own hats, my own things, right? So uh, that's what I did. Uh, and I don't do, I don't like the single crochet or the double crochet for a hat. I like to give a nice texture. <laughs> so what I did is, she sent me a picture. She sent me a picture, and uh, I thought, okay, uh, I don't want to use her picture if I post this on my f Instagram, because who knows, right? Maybe it has copyright. I have to be very careful. People send me pictures. People send me pictures if I can make it, and when I search it up, oh, it's a copyright. I can't. I can't make a tutorial because uh, the designer is going to message me and threaten me, and I found out. I search it up and it looks like as as long as I put their link on the description box, I won't be in trouble, which I always do if I see the picture or whoever sends me, which I always do, so I wouldn't be in a problem. So what I did is I went back and uh, the lost and found pattern uh, scarf that I made, so I reposted that because that's what I was told. I talked to a lawyer, I called local, like here, and he said, as, as long as you post where you got it from, where you saw it from, the designer, you won't be in trouble because you're giving the information, you're just doing a tutorial. So I said to myself, okay, then I reposted. I'm getting lots of uh, thumbs down, I don't know why, because I noticed lots of new beginners are going and trying to do that scarf, that um, shawl, I'm sorry, lost and found shawl. I would highly recommend you not to do it. I'm 52 years old. I, I did it last year, actually, and I had a hard time doing that because uh, it's lots of front posts, back posts, lots of uh, picots, and if you don't know those stitches, you can't do it. You won't, you can't, and uh, it's really hard to read a pattern. So I didn't read her pattern even, actually. I did it from another tutorial, a Turkish lady who was showing a shortcut she was making up. I did it, followed her, and uh, I don't like to do long ways. I always do a shortcut. If it's doing the job, why not, right? So that's back on post. So, I, But for uh, further, I, I'm very picky. I don't want to do copyrights. You know, it, it's... it's I, we have 19 people. Good. Welcome. I went down again. 20. <laughs> ah, 18 people now. So I'm very cautious with that. If I receive a picture, I won't uh, do it. It's really hard to find out sometimes, you know. Anyways, let's go back. Huh, so uh, what I did is I created my own. Before I did that, in the picture, see, I have so many fibers in my uh, stash. And I had this fiber, so I did an arm knit. The hat was on, the baby was on top of this. Actually, it was on the wrong side, I believe. 
anyways so I did this but there's so many tutorials I didn't even bother making a tutorial you just do an arm knit but I grabbed the stitches from the front because I didn't twist my if you look at it I didn't twist my uh, my uh, stitches so they're nice and it looks like a knit stitch but uh, can you see there's uh, little marks on it it has uh, like sprinkles on the fiber <laughs> So, uh, yeah. So what I did is I put the hat on top of this. So I'm going to show you the, the hat that I made. Okay, here we go. So I measured, I used the measurements for the baby. I didn't put any tags or anything. But I'm waiting for my tag. I'm going to put a, as soon as I receive the tag, I will put the tag. So I created this, uh, this hat. Like, you don't have to put the ears. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't want to put the ears, you don't have to. But uh, it looks cute. So, uh, I started from, I first did the brim. I have the tutorial. You can go and check it. But this one, the second one that I made is smaller Then this one, so this is like for a newborn, premier to premier to newborn, and this one is for like three months to six months, a little bit bigger. And I use cotton yarn. Again, it was the art yarn that I used, yarn art that I used, a cotton blend. Yeah, so I have a tutorial for that. Okay. And I forgot to show you the yarn that I bought last month because um, it was far away. And I'm planning to make baby stuff with this yarn because it's just gorgeous. It's... Oh, my water. I dropped my cup. Fantastic. <laughs> so uh, from Svetlana, I bought this gorgeous, gorgeous bamboo silk yarn. I'm planning to make something. I was uh, planning to make it for, uh, of course, before I got sick, right? That's the thing. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, soft. I'm planning to make a cardigan and on the top to wear it inside. I was planning to make it for Valentine's, but unfortunately, uh, I, I got sick, right? So that plan went down the drain, but I'm still, I will still make this. So I bought, I believe I have seven kilogram of this gorgeous yarn. It's super soft. So I will work on that. So this is the yarn that I bought uh, for baby blankets. And I have a whole huge container here. So I can make, I can knit up uh, baby blankets. I'm, I have this cardigan in my head uh, for a child, toddler. Uh, I might use up this yarn, but it's white, right? I don't know, maybe a newborn. Because <laughs> when my son was born, uh, he was a big boy and when you're young you don't go out shopping like you don't think about it because you don't I was 25 when uh, I was pregnant to him and I never bought anything until he was born I did knit him a blanket though a baby blanket that's all I knit him but the thing is uh I we didn't plan any sweaters or anything and he was born on uh, December 28th so my mother she, she went shopping for him and he was a big boy he was 10 pounds when he was born and long so uh he, she bought a cardigan a, a button down cardigan and uh, I even have pictures it was too big for him it was about a year old it said 12 months and he wore that because he was a big boy like a three months old when he was born <laughs> He wore it, so uh, that's why I would love to give gifts for babies, baby newborn, because the baby needs it, especially if it's a winter boy, or winter child, or even for girls. Uh, I would highly recommend to have a cardigan for the baby, because uh, it's cold outside, right? Yeah. But when you're young, you don't think about this. So that's the reason I bought these, so I can knit for babies. And it's super soft. I do have the blue and the gray. It's on my other uh, video that I posted. But uh, this one was far and not far away, so I couldn't grab it to show it to you. And these yarn. 
So uh, I bought, I think two kilogram, I bought it from Svetlana. She's in Turkey. I will put her link as, as well. And uh, she messaged me that she had more coming, five kilogram, and I bought them because it's gorgeous. It's so soft. Like I can make wonderful things with this. I don't have anything red. I did use, I did have a top and I think I donated, gave it to Valley Village. But uh, yeah, I don't have anything red to wear and I would like to knit it up and uh, yeah, go from there. So I think this is it. I'm just thinking I'm surrounded with yarn. <laughs> Here is my uh, leftover yarn. These are all bamboo. And uh, I don't want to use them up because <laughs> they're gorgeous. But this yarn is significant significant it's wonderful yeah uh, cute did you say that you read was bamboo yeah it's bamboo silk this is bamboo silk it's about well I'm gonna see that's another thing if you buy yarn that it's thin you can double thread it right why why not so I can do double I can even do four ply or three ply so I don't waste my yarn. Yeah. It's bamboo silk. But it's... Like when I look at um, this one, gray that I bought. It's Let me just open the pack and show it to you. See, when I first uh, bought this, I even did a review about it. Well, I haven't knit it up. Because this, this is like $7. It's pretty expensive. See, when I touch this... This is, uh, again, bamboo, I believe. This is super soft. Rayon bamboo, it says, 100%. And this is Lion Brand tri Tribu. And uh, where is it made in? Just checking. Does it say? Tiny, tiny words. It's really hard to see. So it's the same thin thickness as this one. Yeah, it doesn't say where it's made in. Made in China. See, this is super soft, but this one has that uh, silk effect. Like, it's, it's just gorgeous. It's just a dream, dream, dream to touch it. It's really nice. Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, share everything here for this month. Uh, the month is already over, 27th of January today. So I'm going to say goodbye because I've been seeing lots of people be leaving. We have 12 people left. <laughs> so I will see you guys next month on February the 27th. So I want to do it because I've been doing it on the 27th for a couple of months now. And uh, I'll just continue this 27th, end of the month. Uh, other than that, if I receive my eight packages on its way, if I receive them, I'll do a yarn unboxing. And you will see them because... They took lo long, and I don't want long videos. Uh, you get tired, you get bored of it, and then now I'm, I've been alive for over an hour. Think we'll be asking her for some bamboo. Yes, yes, yeah, oh yeah. Ask her, or she posts them. She posts them. Her, she writes them in Turkish. You can always double click and then put down, translate it to English. Like sometimes I go to Russian or other uh instagram pages they sell as well and i click double click and i click translate it to english it's not the same way of understanding but uh, you get the idea or you can message her and uh, she can reply to you i really like Svetlana. i uh did i messaged her about the box that i received being receiving uh, wet she was so sad, and I already had some in my cart that I wanted to order. I said, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You know, don't worry about it. Of course, I, I'm going to buy them. So, uh, goodbye, goodbye, Christine. See you next month on the 27th of February. I can't believe one month is over. So, uh, yeah, it's it's not the sender's fault. Like, uh, you know, on Etsy, if anyone has an Etsy shop, they always message you back. Oh, this happened, this, and this happened, that. Well, is it my fault? No, because you, you ship it. But here we have uh, uh, insurance. 
in Canada and America, but in Turkey, I don't think they do have insurance. So she was kind of scared, but nothing happened. The thing is, this yarn is so good. I want to point out, like, two of my uh, skeins were soaked. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, Nara. So this was soaked in water. I, I just made a skein, and I hanged them. It's still hanging. One is in my bathroom, on just uh, the furnace. Like, it, it, it was in water, it was soaked, and it did not color the other yarn. It just, just colored a little bit. That's okay. When I wash it, it would come out. So that's what I want to say. It's so good quality that it did not ruin the other yarn that was in the box, because I had other yarns as well. So uh, good quality, that's all I'm saying. I haven't knitted up yet, but I even it was soaked, like this was soaked. Like if you squeeze it, water will come out. But uh, it did not ruin the other yarn. So uh, just color dyed a little bit. Thank God. That's all. Other than that, everything was perfect. So I would highly recommend Svetlana. She is my one of my top uh, yarn buyers. I buy from Turkey, Istanbul. Again, if you haven't, it's a it's a way of saying I have been very happy with. It. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't checked you. Uh, cause because of my illness, I haven't been browsing around, but I want to go and check your uh, Instagram and see what you did. I think you were going to die. I will check that out. The yarn that you bought from her, Mohair yarn. Yeah. I will check it out. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. You know, the YouTube thing, we always say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share with your family and friends. I've been saying this since 2009, I believe. And then it's it's just a way to say it. And uh, thank you for uh, supporting me. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be at thirty thousand. I only have like one thousand two hundred more subscribers. If I can get that amount of people, thirty thousand. Wow, time flies by. Time went so fast. I enjoyed your life. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you very much. I know time goes far, far with yarn. If you're showing your yarn and uh, if you're showing off your finished items, oh, definitely. Time just flies by. Yeah. So, uh, if you, again, stay home, stay safe. I stayed home. I didn't go out. I don't know, people gather and then they take pictures and they post them and I'm like surprised. They don't have masks and uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have my supper too. I uh, My son and my husband ate it, ate their supper, but I haven't yet, but I'm going to do that. And it's 5.17 p.m. here. We eat early and I try not to eat uh, night just to try to be healthy as we can. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Happy knitting, happy crocheting. And I will see you next month on live stream. I don't know how to shut this now. <laughs> okay. Seven people, goodbye. Eight people. <laughs> Blessing, thank you. Thank you, Robin. Thank you very much.